Hello students, in this video we'll discuss elementary portfolios and expected return on portfolios. An elementary portfolio contains stocks and bonds. And we'll say that we'll have X bonds and Y stocks. What we'll do is we'll let A of zero be 10. And this will be the initial price of A bond. And we'll let S of zero also be 10 be the initial price of a stock. Now what we'll do is we'll make some assumptions that sort of model the physical world. So here are a couple assumptions we'll make. Assumptions. We're going to assume that A of 1, the price of the bond after, let's say, one year. The time step is sort of irrelevant. A1 is the price of a bond after one year is known. And we'll say that A1 is 12, meaning that we get a 20% gain on our initial investment of $10. We'll say that S1 the price of the stock after one year is random. So what will happen is we will say that S of 1, the stock price at time 1, will be 15 with probability P, or it will be 5 with probability 1 minus P. So we have two situations. We have the situation where the stock price will go up by 50% and the situation where the stock price will go down by 50%. So we have a boom probability and we have a bust probability. We will also assume that, that's our first assumption, our second assumption is that X and Y can be any real number. Meaning that I can buy as many stocks or fractions of as many stocks as I like, or sell as many stocks and fractions of stocks as I like, and the same thing with bonds. Now what we'll do is we will let V of X, Y, and T, we have X bonds, so I will have A times X of times X, plus we have Y stocks. And so what will happen is this is going to be X times the number of bonds we have, the value at time T, plus Y times the number of stocks we have, the value at time T. This is the value of our portfolio. We should also assume that this function V is always greater than or equal to zero. In other words, we can't have a portfolio that gets negative values. So we have the assumption that x and y can be any real numbers, the assumptions that I have prices that are random and known, and the assumption that my portfolio can never be negative. Now, let's see what happens. Let's figure out what the return after one year will be. So if we get, let's, let's pick some particular numbers. Let's have, here's an example. Let's let x equal 8 and y equals 2 in our example. So that means I'll have 8 bonds and 2 stocks. So initially, V of, I have 8 bonds and 2 stocks at time 0 will be 8 times A0 plus 2 times S0. Since both A0 and S0 are 10, we see that this is 100. 
So the initial value of my portfolio is 100. Now let's consider my portfolio at time one. V, X, Y, one, in the case when X is eight and Y is two, will be eight times A one plus two times S one. Now we know what A1 is. We know that A1 is going to be 12 in our example. So this will be 8 times 12 plus one of two things. It will be 15 times 2, so 2 times 15 with probability P. And it will be 2 times 5 with probability 1 minus P. And so we think of this situation when the stock price goes up as we typically think of this as the boom scenario and we think of this as the bust scenario. So I will lose 50% in this scenario and I will gain 50% in this scenario. Now the value of P can be chosen in the particular context of the problem, but we'll see that the larger P is, the more likely a boom is, and the smaller P is, the less likely a boom is. So if we simplify this, this will be 96 and 30, right? So we will see that we'll have 126 with probability P, and this over here will be 10, so I'll have 106 with probability 1 minus P, so in the first situation, I have a return of 26%, and in this situation, I'll have a return of 6%. Now, we can ask the question, what is the expected return? The expected return will be 0.26 times P, that's the probability that that will occur, plus 0 0.06 times 1 minus p. So for different values of p, we'll get different expected returns. In particular, we can figure out which values of p will give me the highest and which values of p will give me the lowest. Thank you very much.